Talk about the experience being under Don and, and being under Joe. Well, when I was with Joe, I was 13 and older, and after that, you know, I, I was actually without a promoter for a little bit. I didn't want to be with nobody, and uh, I, w I was with Teddy Atlas, you know, he was training me and everything. So I fought in ESPN. I got a lot of time in ESPN, too. You know, I fought in, like, five, six fights in ESPN, too. I was the best fighter of the year, 2002, in ESPN, too. And then uh, I went like a roller coaster, actually. I was, you know, I was number five in the world, and Don King, you know, was asking me to sign and everything. So I just decided I signed with Don King. And, but then Don King has so many fighters, you can't even... Personally, you can't even never talk to him personally. You know, I talk to him when I sign, but then after he has it, then you know, <laughs> he, you know, he lets everybody else handle it. But after, like, after I had two losses, actually, with, with, with Don King, uh, which I'm used to, I'm not used to being a swing belt. I'm not telling me put the gloves on, take the gloves off. I was either co-main event or main event all the time, all my career. So. It was like he has too many fighters, too many busy. I gotta be, I gotta be paid attention for me to do good. You know, that that's the way I was brought up. And uh, so, when I was going through those things, Joe kept calling me, saying, yeah, "Let me, you know, let me, let me actually, you know, give me a chance. Let me do the right thing with you." And uh, I came back. Same thing with Colin Morgan. You know, Colin Morgan. I've been with him for a year and three months. My trainer. Mm -hmm. So that we have a good team right now. I feel good because I came back and I signed with Joe. And uh, I can talk to Joe personally. Mm -hmm. I can let, me, let me ask John here because, you know, when you talk about, when you see a guy like Elvier and, you know, he's, he's been around the block, what have you learned uh, in your early fight experience, in your early professional career that you might be able to take from him uh, to apply to your, to, to apply to your uh, professional career? Uh, mostly patience in the ring. Like, I'm maturing as a professional fighter right now. I feel like my last couple fights is the end of my amateur career. Like, I'm rounding out my amateur career and really turning into a pro right now, mm -hmm. especially with the team I'm with right now, the other boxers who are on our team. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the definition of your nickname. The Fighting Marine, because I was in the Marines. I was at the uh, 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines from uh, 98 to 2002. Mm -hmm. So I just figured I want to represent for the Marine Corps, especially for what's going on right now, and get out there and promote a little bit for the Marine Corps and you know, have pride for being a Marine. So Has the discipline helped you in the ring? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won't quit. I won't stop. I don't stop punching until the bell rings or until he gets knocked out. Either one of the two. So that's my Marine Corps mentality. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself going in the future? I'm going to stay in the cruiserweight division for a while and mm -hmm. uh, take it as far as I can go. I want to, you know, become the cruiserweight champ. That's the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. Now, where, we, where is everybody going to be able to find you? Give them the information about the, about the fight card. Uh, the fight is going to be at the Paradise Theater. You know, it's a grand concourse. Uh, not too far from Fulham Road and Grand Concourse, and mm -hmm. me and John, and all you know, a lot of a lot of friends fighting the same night. 